self, it's funny, it's a funny life. You get quite self-absorbed. Yeah, but that's, that is sort of what it is. I mean, my it my husband works in an office, and you yes. know, I have no idea what he does. <laughs> <laughs> He's tried to tell me several times, but I'm so bored. <laughs> But I saw you say, in one of your interviews talking about how you, you, he gets up and goes to work and you're in bed and then by the time he gets home you're in bed again and so you only, only, see, only see you lying down. He works very, very hard and yeah. in the, whatever it is in this <laughs> office. <laughs> gets up, goes to work uh, at about 7.30 and yeah. I'm in bed, comes back after midnight. I'm in, there was a six-month period where he never once saw me standing up. <laughs> <laughs> I was just a prone figure under the duvet. <laughs> But that's, it sounds like that sort of suits you. It's nice to have the commitment, but still be... I think you, you're quite a... You like, you like your own company. I do. Now, we're neither of us very needy, so no. that is fine. And I try, I think it's important, to try and remain faithful. Yes. But there are times... <laughs> I was at the car wash the other day. <laughs> you know how erotic these car washes are? Five or six... Swarthy men leaping all over you with hose pipes and squeegees. And I thought, I thought, I knew, this is wrong, I knew it was wrong. And for a start, we haven't got a car. 